Greetings. So uh, this is your debut album, is that right? Yeah. For Columbia, yeah. On Columbia. So what, what kind of, like you're relatively new on for Canadian eyes and ears. Uh, what's some of your history? Uh, Rob and I started the band about five years ago in Washington, D.C. and uh, sort of did a lot of touring on our own up and down the East Coast. Put a seven-inch single out on our own. Um, did an EP for a label out of Minneapolis called Crackpot Records. It came out last year. Mm -hmm. um, got the deal with Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, Lars joined the band about five months ago, mm, and yeah. we've pretty much been on tour. I need a Midwest guy. Pretty steady since then. So, so, so it's sort of uh, it's not really the, the, the feel like this is your debut album. You've been at it. We've been at it time. forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now this this la this song that you just played all the way in is is a lot sort of lower key than the bulk of the rest of the material on the album. Right. Uh, I would describe it as sort of a power pop trio, right. and uh, you've got a lot of hooks. Like in every song, it seems that you just cram the hooks in. I'm wondering is, that, <laughs> is this a, sorry more than a tackle box? Yeah, more much more than a tackle box, and uh, I'm wondering is this like a natural process or are you conscious of like trying to fit as many hooks? Is that a necessary part of the, the uh, power pop trio formula? I don't think it's a conscious effort. I mean, he comes up with the riffs and stuff and we arrange it together and, you know, I, I think it's just what we grew up listening to, which is yeah. like Cheap Trick and the replacements and, and the Beatles. more like, you know, pop stuff. That's all we like is hooks. Are you, are you Posey's fans? Or? Yeah. 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 And Goo Goo Dolls? Yeah. Yeah, we know those guys. Yep. Yeah, I was uh, like, uh, apparently in, at, in MTV land. If you don't have a hook within the first 30 seconds, it's like a less, they're less inclined to put it into rotation. Yeah. So, but there you got, you got lots of hooks. Well, that's the American Thanks. attention span. Yeah. It's actually more like 15 seconds. Wow. Uh, who's the lyricist? Hi, I am. And seven of the 10 songs on the album seem, they seem to be about ro romance gone bad, like breaking up. And well, yeah, and romance and friendship, just relationships in general. How come you're so lousy at relationships? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still so trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. He's Maybe the too. next record I'll have it figured out and I'll write songs about fishing or something. <laughs> I don't know, you know? He's writing too many hooks. And uh, in your bio it says that you work with the Seminole Indian tribe. Is this, is this true? <laughs> who writes your bios? And why are they filled with lies? That bio was written by our friend Pete Gilstrap, who it is actually a, joke. our bass player a long time ago. And he's like... He's insane. So we had him write this bio just as on a lark. You know, I think he went out and got a six pack of cheap beer and wrote this thing. And it's right here. I am researching for it. I know. Going through your bio, <laughs> trying to find the facts, and going, oh, he's there a are... 72 inch Pisces. <laughs> are you guys Pisces? A... No, no, no. Nothing, no. In nothing in that bio. Nothing in that bio is true. Damn. Okay, how'd you get on to this Soul Asylum tour? Same record company. Ah. Oh, so you were pals or anything? And we told them we'd move their gear for them too. So oh, yeah. it's, it's actually a pretty tough tour, you know. We spend a lot of cut time. The, moving cut the cost there. Yeah, exactly. And uh, how's it going so far? It's great. Going really it's good. Going, it's going really great. Although we're pretty tired. They have a tour bus, so they do these huge drives from like Atlanta to Richmond. But and they have beds. To, to Boston, and they sleep. We have a van, so it's. You don't like, have beds? We have a van, so. Have benches. Oh. We're we learning to sleep standing up, you know, like horses do. We haven't cows. slept in, in about a week. Oh no. Do you have we, a driver at least? Help somebody well, helping you drive? Sometimes. We do, but, but we're the best drivers of the bunch, unfortunately. So. <laughs> Is Winona on tour? It's hard to sleep, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's out. Really? Cool. We've, we've hung out with her a little bit. She's really great. She's really friendly. She likes us, which is good. Oh, that's always nice, eh? Yeah, yeah she's really nice. Okay, uh, who's the best at Mother May I, playing Mother May I? We never play it. You don't? You we're don't go... <laughs> being in the band is who's enough. Not? What was the question? Who's she the best at playing Mother May I? Oh, the game? Yeah. I didn't even know. It was, I, I didn't I even know it was a game. Two weeks ago, there was a game. <laughs> I never heard of it. I didn't even know it was a game. You gotta I'm, start playing that. I'm yeah, the wrong games. I'm probably the best Scrabble player of the bunch, though. Oh yeah. This oh, guy's yeah. Most literate, lyricist. It, yeah. it hasn't been proven yet. It hasn't been proven yet. We haven't got the <laughs> magnetic board for the trip. So. <laughs> okay, well, let's take a look at your video. This would be uh, for the song "Meet You There," right. and you guys are playing at the Opera House tonight, right. is that right? Yep. In yes. Toronto with Soul Asylum. What time yeah. you do you hit the stage? We're gonna hit the boards at 8.45, I believe. Okay. Remember yeah. when you watch the video, every time you see the old bass player, just picture Lars. Maybe we can get a close up and just superimpose him over all the other shots. Put it in the freeze frame, you know? Yeah, that'd Never, be a real yeah. showstopper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually shooting a new video for this song. Oh, you really, yeah. why? Because this is old and it was done so for the same song, though? By a bunch of friends of ours yeah, for a couple of, like, you know, real cheap. Yeah, we did it for a case of beer yeah. and some film, so. So you want to keep the same song, but like at a higher sort of production value, more interesting visuals? 
Yeah, we're gonna get the uh, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are gonna be in it, so it should be really great. Okay, I'm well, just kidding <laughs> about that. Liar. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is their video. Meet you there. <laughs>